All right, so I just got done watching Inuyasha season one, episode 12, The Soul Piper and the Mischievous Little Soul. Uh, so basically, uh, this episode uh, begins with Hojo returns, right? Hojo returns. So the guy that has a nice crush on Kagame comes and visits the family to give her um, a hot water bottle, I believe he gives her. And Grandpa's going off about how, oh, I'm sure this will help with her neurogelia, which is some shit like that. I don't know what that is, to tell you the truth. Some kind of, for some kind of not so fun sickness. Let's say pneumonia. Let's say she has pneumonia for the sake of, of my own understanding. Um, and she really wants to go back to school, but, but Grandpa seems to even be discouraging. It's kind of the opposite of, of, of general real world life. Uh, so Kagame does, she does go back to school though, and she's with the friends of the water park, and she sees the tiny little evil spirit of a little girl, of a little girl who's throwing firecrackers or and little uh, like Roman candles uh, at the water park and surprising everybody. And but only Kagame can see this little girl. Um, and uh, you know, I, I was realizing when this happened why the there's so many evil demons is because. Kagame, not, not in this episode actually, but Kagame split the sacred jewel up and gave all of these evil creatures and evil demons in the feudal era uh, pieces of the sacred the sacred jewel, right? So it's her fault, right? Uh, so Inuyasha, we see him as well. He's fixing up his sword with uh, Mioga, um, and it's these, they said steel bees um, with their magic wax fixing up the sheath for his uh, Tetsuri, Tetsuyagi uh, you know, sheath which I thought was kind of neat, but also very strange. Um, and it comes to this question I often ask when I'm watching these type of shows, and, and I'm like, what? The we they have such weird rules and regulations with, with uh, how, how strong or weak magic can be at any given moment uh, that you really do have to suspend your disbelief. You know, this isn't high fantasy we're dealing with here. This is, this is a soap opera at its core, right? So uh, this episode we see, well, uh, we see the Soul Piper. Um, the Soul Piper is this, this big sort of... Uh, uh, Pac-Man or emoji looking fella uh, with his eyes closed, or at least his, you would hope his eyes are closed, uh, playing a nice sort of feudal um, melody on a flute, uh, helping uh, dead children pass on to the next life in a positive way. But if his eyes are open, he's possessed with evil and creates the evil spirit with these restless children who uh, who have when their you know their their sadness of of, of passing on becomes regret. And the regret becomes, you know, uh, evil. They become an evil spirit, and that's that's a common thing without this within this episode. So we see Kagame taking Sota to the hospital to go see his friend Satoru, who has been um, hospitalized for six months in a coma from a, uh, a a fire that happened at his house where he lost his uh, older or younger sister, um, who very quickly we realize Mayu is her name is the uh, little girl evil spirit that has been haunting Kagame among others and is as well has a strong desire to kill her mother and to kill her younger brother um, because she blames her mom for whatever reason for the fire. Uh, so we see uh, Kagame, uh, and she's hanging out with the Soul Piper, right? This little girl is hanging out with the Soul Piper, but the Soul Piper's got his eyes wide, bugging, you know, trying to infect this girl with, with evil. And uh, so basically this episode is, is Kagame helping this family work through this as well as being the only person in the real world in theory who can talk to this evil spirit little girl Mayu um, helps work through it and that's basically what happens this episode was was good but it was it was kind of um, uh, it was a different tone than the other ones this was definitely a sad episode I kept asking myself while I was watching this is this going to be a sad episode um, and uh, I was wondering if Inuyasha was actually going to show up at all and he he does uh, almost in a tuxedo mask fashion when uh, Mayu uh, goes to the hospital and flips her brother out of the window and he's on like the 12th story. Inuyasha's right there in the nick of time to catch him. I don't know what drew him there exactly. I think maybe he was following the soul pipe or something. Um, but he's there and yeah, he's like, I was saying, thinking also, Inuyasha is sort of like a doper tuxedo mask in the real world episodes here, not in the feudal episodes so much. It's a different relationship for sure. I mean, although not that different than Mamoru and the Usagi's in Sailor Moon. Um, so Kagame ends up essentially in hell where this girl is forced to relive uh, her her death by fire. The death by fire was basically she was boiling the kettle um, under uh, on a heater under like a scarf, and it all catches fire uh, when her mom's not home. And her mom is running after trying to look for her when she really she was hiding in the house the whole time, uh, which inevitably kills Mayu and leaves uh, mom you know grieving. And the whole episode basically focuses around on this girl's inability to accept that her mother really did love her. Um, 
this, you know, this was in, in fact definitely one of the sadder episodes of the, hey, hold up, hold up. Um, so yeah, basically this episode cements the power of emotional maturity. Seeing Kagame explaining to her, she's a mother. Mothers are all the same. And you get that, uh, what I wrote down with here was the, uh, the anime mom smile, which is, you know, this maybe it the, looks the great most, in here. yeah, maybe the most, uh, maybe the most, you know, effective way to drive home, uh, innocent morality. Uh, this was a good episode, not as good as the last one. Um, I enjoy a good purgatory farewell. I liked the way that, uh, you know, you see the kind Mayu at the end thanking Kagame for her service. Uh, and that that's, that was this episode. It was pretty good. I'm, I'm enjoying the real world episodes. It's just it's an exciting change of pacing, a different setting, and understanding where Kagame really comes from. So uh, thank you for watching.